Hello. Welcome to today's episode of Leadership. Kenya needs Martha Caro because she is a leader. She is a visionary and progressive, a real and original, speaking her mind without fear of contradiction. She is experienced, resourceful and intellectual. She has been a minister in the government of Kenya for at least 10 years, serving in five different ministries under three different presidents. She started out as Minister for Justice and Constitutional Affairs under President Daniel Arap Mwa, before being offered the post of Minister for Environment and Natural Resources under President Mwai Kibaki. She was later moved to be Minister for Water Resources Management, before President Kibaki moved her again to be Minister of Law, National Cohesion, and Constitutional Affairs. In 2008 she was appointed as Minister for Justice, National Cohesion, and constitutional affairs. In January 2010 Martha Karu challenged Uru Kenyado for the presidential nomination of the Party of National Unity PNU, but lost. Karu then left PNU in January 2011 after unsuccessfully challenging Uru Kenyatta's nomination in the party primaries to form an alliance with other opposition groups who were planning to field their own candidate for the presidency. Martha Karu announced on June 17, 2011 that she had resigned from PNU to join the NARC Kenya. In the time between then and now, the political landscape has changed drastically. Old school politics have been replaced with new blood, new ideas, and an increased desire for good governance. In this climate, there's one name that stands out as a beacon of hope for the future of Kenya, Martha Karu. Martha Kerwa is a leader who has been instrumental in bringing about many of the positive changes we've seen in Kenya over the past decade. She is visionary and progressive, but also real and original, she's known for speaking her mind without fear of contradiction or repercussions. She is experienced, resourceful, and intellectual, I can't think of a single person who would be a better fit to lead our country into this next stage of its history. Martha Kerwa is a leader who integrates the political, social, and economic interests of the people. A person with a vision to bring about good governance in Kenya by advocating constitutionalism and democracy. When it comes to supporting good governance not just those with means or connections, Martha Kerwa's record speaks for itself. She has spent her entire career in government service working to give Kenyans better access to education and health care and bring greater transparency to government processes. She is much progressive, visionary and a charismatic leader. She doesn't shy away from bold ideas, but she also knows how to make them a reality. She speaks her mind without fear of contradiction, which is more than almost any other politician in Kenya can say. She has been a true inspiration to so many Kenyans especially women. She has been a real and original leader who stands for what she believes in. Martha Kerwa is experienced, resourceful and intellectual as well. She has served as an attorney general for seven years which makes her a more experienced politician than any other candidate in this race. Not only that, but she has proven time and again that she will do right by the Kenyan people when it comes to leadership no matter what that looks like or what choices it means having to make. In contrast, her opponents have spent the last few months promising everything they can think of, while their previous records are littered with broken promises. The choice couldn't be more clear, real leadership that gets results or empty campaign speeches that go nowhere. And while other candidates have taken money from foreign interests who might seek to use Kenya's future leaders for their own purposes, Martha has pledged to serve only Kenya, and never compromise her vision. Thank you for watching and please subscribe, like and share the video.